So camping season is upon us again. So I'm preparing uh, my camping equipment today because we are going camping at the weekend. So uh, I'm just going to show you a few of the lights that I've got because it's very important, the lighting in your tent. So the first one I have is this wee one. And you can hang this up or you can have it just sitting on a table. And it's the bright white light. You can have it dimmer. That's the, the highest setting. And that's dim for like a night light for kids and then off. And it's rubber based. And it's a very good wee camp light. We would use that in the bedroom. So uh, the second one is this one which we bought out of Littles. You can hang it up. We hang this uh, in front of our bedrooms. Uh, you can use it as a stand. Very sturdy. You can carry it around with you. I actually use this at night when I'm walking down to the shower block and it lights the whole path. There's a great range of light in this. And again, the buttons is on the side and you have two settings. That's the dimmer one and then your right one on your off. So I would use this quite a lot so I would it's brilliant from walking down dark paths and uh, hanging in your tent if you want it fully illuminated your tent. And again that is the bright white. Now this one is our main camping light. Very sturdy. You have your hook on the top you can hang up if you want. I don't like hanging heavy lights in a tent because I don't want to cause a wee hole in the roof of the tent. And again, you have your dimmer light and then you have your bright light. We got this one out of Go Outdoors in Newton Abbey, the big camping shop. We picked this one up and I can't really remember. What, just one of the shops we were in. Uh, this one came out of Littles. Now, this one is not actually a camping light and it is glass. Uh, I wouldn't recommend taking this with kids, uh, but for adults, yes, it's no problem. And it goes with batteries. It has a bulb in it. And it's a warm white and it's only one setting on it. And it's really, really nice at night. Sometimes I would use that in the bedroom. Now, this one, the important one. <laughs> I picked this up in a charity shop, believe it or not, and I haven't seen one since. So please do not ask where I got this. I haven't a clue what shop would do it. So it is a, a torch, which goes on and off on the top button. It is... A radio so you have your radio settings here and your frequency and also it has an alarm if I can so in a case of an emergency you just press that button it flashes red and people will come because they want to know what's going on uh, I love the wee radio in this. We listen to this all the time. My grandkids call it the wee piggy torch because it reminds them of a wee piggy with a wee feet on it. There's no tail on it. <laughs> but it is excellent. And also, folks, it goes with batteries, but you can do a wind up if your batteries go down and recharge. So there you go. Camping lights are a must when you're camping because some places are, the fields are not lit and you need uh, your lights for walking about outside, also inside the tent to see what you're doing and if you have children to have a wee night light on and a radio is important for uh, listening to the weather forecast. Any winds coming in, all campers will tell you this, they uh, check and check again for high winds and what speed the winds are doing and any rain coming in and how long it's going to last for and believe me kids love the rain 
they will go out and splash around to their heart's content with their wee valley boots on. Uh, but camping nights are very important. So just a few ideas, folks. So if this has helped you out in any way, uh, big thumbs up and leave a wee comment. And if you have any questions about lighting of any sorts, uh, just ask me in the comments. So have a blessed day, folks, and I'll catch you later.